alaikum and welcome back. We are starting Kingdom Animalia which is a vast topic to cover. Therefore, at the beginning we will discuss certain terminologies and phenomena involved. Let's begin. As we all are familiar with the fact that one reproduces to continue its progeny. It is the phenomena of nature. In the image here, you can observe two cells. They are reproductive cells. The first one is smaller and it is termed as sperm, which is a male gamete, while other one is larger cell, larger gamete, that is ovum or egg, and it is a female gamete. Here a question arises. After fertilization, that is fusion of male and female gamete, what happens? Any idea? Okay, you have 5 seconds to think about it and write your answers in the comment section below. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time up! The answer is very simple. Fertilization leads to the formation of zygote. You can see its illustration on your screen. The male gamete unites with the female gamete. Both these gametes are haploid, having half number of chromosomes. So resulting zygote is a diploid organism that is having complete set of chromosomes as were in the parent cell. For example, human have 46 number of chromosomes, dog have 78, while earthworm has 36 number of chromosomes. The development of zygote begins with a series of rapid mitotic divisions and they are known as cleavage that converts a single cell zygote into multicellular embryo. The pattern of cleavage differ greatly among animals but we are discussing here the basic pattern. The first division appears and cleaves zygote into two cells and this is termed as two cell stage. Each cell is now termed as blastomia. Second cleavage appears and this two cell stage is followed by four cell stage and then eight cell stage and the process of the mitotic division continues. After a series of mitotic division, single cell zygote is converted into solid ball of cells called morula, which is having a mulberry appearance. Mitosis is extremely rapid during early cleavage. For instance, a frog divides into 37,000 cells in less than two days. It's a huge number. No growth occurs between the cells and the individual cells known as blastomere become progressively small. During this period of cleavage, the embryo used material stored in yolk as a source of energy. Thus, in the developing embryo, a cavity known as blastocele appears in the center because the blastomeres are anchored to the surface where exchange of gases and other materials between the embryo and environment takes place. Here in the diagram, as you can see, the blastocele, which is a hollow space, it is basically fluid-filled cavity and the cells arranged at the surface are known as blastoderm. At this stage, the cells of the blastula starts to migrate and blastopore provides space that facilitates cell movement. And the cells rearrange themselves into three germ layers or tissue layers known as ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm respectively. The outermost is known as ectoderm, mesoderm is the middle one while endoderm is the innermost. Here in the image, as you can see, ectoderm, which is the outermost layer, the endoderm, which is in green color, it is innermost layer, while developing mesoderm is shown in the yellow color. Neural plate will form the nervous system of the embryo. And notochord will eventually be developed into vertebral column in vertebrates. Archentron will form the digestive cavity. Now, by the end of the gastrulation, the germ layers are formed. At this stage, the formation of organ system is 
started. That is, organ organogenesis starts after gestation. That's all for now. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and stay connected. Allah Hafiz.